Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create images from text. Okay, what's going on here? Well, this Wikipedia page gives us a little bit of information about DALI, which is what these different applications are based on. So we've got DALI, which is an artificial intelligence program that creates images from textual descriptions, revealed by OpenAI on January the 5th, 2021. It uses a 12 billion parameter version of the GPT-3 transformer model to interpret natural language inputs and generate corresponding images. There's a website link over there as well and various different articles if you want to dig in and see the different things that DALI can do. Now, let's go and have a look at this first one, which is Big Sleep. Now, this is a command line tool for text to image generation using OpenAI's Clip and a Big GAN. Okay, so let's have a little scroll down and see what's going on in here. So there's a picture based on the words artificial intelligence. There's one cosmic love and attention that produces that. There's a fire in the sky and, and all those other different pictures, all those other, other different pictures. So what are the different ways that we can run this? Well, obviously I'm going to be installing it locally, uh, but there are also Google Colab notebooks there. There's a, a simple Google Colab notebook there. And right down at the bottom, there is also a web page, dank.xyz. So you can pop into there. You can type in your prompt, you know, a magical onion. And uh, in a few hours, that your picture will eventually appear down the bottom there somewhere. So there, there's the easy way if, you, if you've only got a tablet or a phone or something and you can access websites, but you want to make one of these images, then you can pop over to that website, type in your prompt, wait a couple of hours, and, and there it will be. There it will be. But anyway, we're going to install this locally. We're going to install this locally. So what do you need before you can get any of this going? Well, I am using a powerful NVIDIA GPU and you will need one too. Uh, ideally with a minimum of 8 gigabytes of VRAM and I suggest 16 gigabytes of VRAM plus for some of the later things if you want to do some real deep dives. Um, you can also use the Google Colab notebooks as mentioned and uh, if you're in the United States or Canada you can use Google, Google Colab Pro as well and get an, get an even better GPU instance than on the free version of Colab. So installation as always I'm using a virtual environment for my python install so conda create minus minus name big sleep python 3.7 and then activate your environment. For the older nvidia cards you can just run pip install big sleep and that will install all these different packages for you and as you can see there is pytorch in there torch 1.7.1 and as we know with the current nvidia cards such as the rtx 3080 and 3090 you will need this special version of PyTorch with CUDA 11. So you can go to the PyTorch website and uh, as you've seen, pip install Torch, or you can also use the Conda version as well. If you don't have the NVIDIA CUDA toolkit installed, uh, Conda will install all that, including the CUDA toolkit for you. And then you can do your pip install Big Sleep. So, you know, if you've already got a PyTorch environment, which you probably have, if you've watched any of my previous videos and played with a few things yourself, uh, so if you've already got your PyTorch environment, you know, you can you can start just pip install big sleep and that will do it for you. So the most basic version is you would do dream, you know, and a burning hand. So dream, there we go. A magical cat in a hat. And that will start doing its little dream. We'll wait a few seconds there so you can see it's starting up. It opens up this folder. So that's where your images will be. It's using the default seed of zero. It mentions you can use the minus minus seed or minus minus random options to get a, a random one and that will go through and uh, eventually eventually generate a cat i'm gonna i'm gonna stop that now for reasons because that takes quite a long time with all the defaults now there's lots of options and you will want to play with these you will want to play with these so you've got a learning rate and you've got the image size by default maximum size there is 512 you've got the the lower gpu memory you can drop that down to 256 or 128 uh, now, the number of epochs and number of iterations to start with, 20 epochs, uh, 1050 iterations, I think is quite high uh, personally, and I'll show you why in a moment. Uh, you've also got these save every options, and if you want to overwrite, um, seed and random, as mentioned before, if you want to make sure um, your images are sort of replicatable, there's a, an option there for torch deterministic, and I'll show you later some little changes you have to make before you can use that. Uh, you can also limit the number of classes and uh, just save the best. There's also an experimental resample option. So let's let's have a look at some of the things that I've created already in this. And these are these are some badgers. Let's, let's crack this open. There is the text at the top there. So this is a badger wearing jeans. 
And I've used the, the best option there, the save best. And that's a badger in clothes. As you can see, the badger seems to have taken it literally there and just put himself in a pile of clothes. And there's a big badger wearing a suit of clothes, which I think is quite hilarious. And also a giant badger in a suit. And that really is a giant badger, isn't it? And it's, a, it's quite a nice... Quite a nice suit. So there's an example of, of some of the images that you can create with this. Now you don't have to just create images. Now remember we've got this save every option, yeah? So if you wanted to create a video, uh, you could basically just save the frames um, every 10 I'm doing here, for example. So if we pop into the before time began. So here I'm saving every 10 and you get loads and loads and loads of images. And then you can use FFmpeg that little command there so basically just include every image in that directory and I want to output it at 30 frames a second using libx264 with quite a high quality there we go and that will give you this little video which is down the bottom here so let's play that there we go there we go so we've got a little video nice nice also got another little video in here as well there is one somewhere frames there we go so this is impressionist art. Now this is this is quite interesting. This this sort of shows off um, what Big Gan does in the background. Now Big Gan is uh, obviously it's a Gan uh, and it's trained on images. So there are there are things that Big Gan knows uh, to start with, and one of the things it knows about is birds, and it also knows a lot about dogs. So you will see a lot of dog-shaped creatures to start with, uh, and there you go. It starts from a bird, and it's slowly, slowly but surely. So this is every ten iterations. Or up to a hundred there eventually becomes some impressionist art if i show you the, the video on that one it goes through yeah, so we start with a bird eventually becomes this sort of impressionist picture with a bit of a lake going on in the background there maybe some reeds and some sort of flowers there sort of flowers there but you can see that it doesn't really change very much after a certain point so here I'm, uh, I'm about halfway through the video and it's it's not it's not really changing much compared to the, the very beginning so that's why I was saying the default epochs and default iterations probably probably not the best settings I mean you can leave it to run through all of that but that will take quite some time so what I found generally speaking um, is that about 500 to 600 iterations is okay and and just one one epoch um, that, that seems to generate quite a good picture in a reasonable amount of time. Uh, Big Gan obviously favours dogs. There's lots of dog images in there. Uh, and the images can be quite random. So you can use the same text, but not necessarily get the same image out every time uh, if you don't use the torch deterministic behaviour. Um, if you do want to use the torch deterministic behaviour and you do have CU Blast greater than or equal to 10.2, uh, then you will first need to export this environment variable before you can run the dream with the deterministic option. So there's the Kublas workspace config there with the two different options you can use uh, for determinism. Excellent stuff. Now, there is also a fork of Big Sleep as well, which is quite interesting. So if you go to the forks there, you can click on the, the number there and that will give you all the various forks. And the one I found here was uh, by that name there. And this one is, is interesting because it saves the latents. It saves the latents. So, when you do your, your first Python gen there, that'll make your castle made of ice, and it will also save a PTH file for you as well. So once you've got two of those, so you, so you do two generations, uh, you can then use that BS morph, and that will morph from the first latent over to the second latent. So I've got that over in Forks, Big Sleep, and here I've got an example video of that. And there's the first latent, slowly but surely morphing into the second latent. So you can, you can create some morphing videos with that as well, which is uh, which is quite weird. Quite weird. Um, there are a few options with that, uh, but basically the one you're interested in is the one at the end there. So minus minus steps is basically the number of frames in the video. So that would be a video with 200 frames. Now, um, it did take uh, a little bit of looking uh, <laughs> to see why that wasn't working the first time, because the first time I ran it, um, basically it didn't create any um, latents. Uh, you will also need an extra package uh, ADA belief PyTorch, so pip install ADA belief PyTorch. And what I had to do was modify that gen.py file, which is basically the options that we've already seen uh, just in a Python file. And the new one that doesn't exist in the original Big Sleep is uh, save underscore latent. So once I set that to true, 
uh, it saved every time it saved a picture it also saved a latent file here which is not quite what it says in the instructions here it says for each epoch um, certainly when I turn that option on in there it did it every time it saved a picture so save every so if you had save every two and that was uh, 1500 iterations you'd get a lot of PTH files <laughs> much much like the frames in that video you'd get a PTH file along with every frame um, so that's why I put save every quite high there compared to the iteration so I only get three images and three latents and then you can just morph between the two with the command and then PS morph um, the FFmpeg command as well I, I modified slightly just because I like doing things at 30 frames a second and I like them higher quality and as I mentioned there so number of steps and number of frames so I tend to do 300 because that's 30 fps and uh, it, it makes a nice 10 second video okay so what's what's this other option there's another option there is another option as well this is also by the same lucid drains over here now this is a simple command line tool for text to image generation using OpenAI's Clip and Siren, an implicit neural representation network. Now, unlike Big Gan, um, Siren basically uses maths to create um, the images. So it's never seen a picture of a dog. So you, you don't get any particular biases in this. And uh, the images are quite different. They are very, very different indeed. As you can see, these are more sort of uh, abstract and, and dreamlike. Um, I, I really like the uh, life during the plague. Uh, that's that's quite good. I quite like that one. Uh, yeah, so same sort of thing. Pip install deep day. So if, if you're running the same environment like I am, I'm just using my big sleep environment. I've already got PyTorch installed. You can pip install deep days and that will pip install deep days. It's just a couple of extra programs that it installs and it runs exactly the same. So you just do an imagine. There we go. I'll just pop that one in and show you it does pretty much exactly the same thing. So I imagine all the people and start up again this uh, has uh, seeds and stuff like that there we go pops open the folder there we go and it is uh, imagining all the people from the depths of my weights That's, this could take a little bit longer to run it's a little bit slower this one but uh, there we go as you can see that is probably going to take about about seven or eight minutes to, to finish on there so i'll just i'll just stop that one for now i'll just stop that one and uh, if we scroll down, we can see some of the options. So the options are actually on the on the page, this one. And uh, there are quite a few of these, but many of them are similar. Uh, so you've got the learning rate as well. Uh, number of layers is a different one in here. Uh, so you can use 16 up to 32 layers. So if you use the minus minus deeper option, uh, you'll get a, a siren neural net with 32 layers and that will, that will eat all your GPU memory. Don't attempt that unless you've got at least uh, 16, 18 gigabytes of VRAM going. Uh, you can also modify the batch size in this one as well and uh, the image size as always put a seed there and also this is quite different from the other one you can have a starting image so if we scroll down a little bit they give an example there so there's primed starting image with the pizza and then you prime that pizza with green peppers so a pizza with green peppers so there you go starts with that image add some green peppers to it pretty nice pretty nice and again you can do much the same thing with this so if you wanted to create the videos, you can use the minus minus save every. And I've got an example of those in here. If I pop over to the deep days, got some frames in here. So this is a castle in the sky and that slowly but surely goes through and generates a castle. Okay. I put the video in there, no. but you can see, you can see the same sort of thing. And this, there's, there's some more example images here. I'll have a quick look at one of these. So there is a clock shaped like an egg and that's the first set so I've, i was saving every 500 iterations this time so that's after 500 iterations and then that's after a thousand iterations and you'll see in a few of these what they tend to do is it starts off obviously quite similar but then tends to get a little bit lighter uh, and sort of more defined around the edges you sort of get more clear clear cut corners and things like that and then another thing that happens quite a lot in this, you can probably see it maybe just about there, is some of the text that you include actually appears in the image itself. So that's a, a sort of rodent that it is saying there. If we scroll through there, so all the people there, you can see the word all and all there and all there. So that's, I, I like it personally. Um, it, it's quite artistic. Um, I'll put some of these images uh, and the videos as well uh, at the end of this uh, video. So you can, you can have a look at those in full. Uh, but yes, this is slightly different from Big Sleep 
in that, uh, as you've seen, the more iterations and more e epochs can result in a slightly better image. Um, it's probably, again, around 500 iterations. One epoch is when you, you get a, a reasonably decent image. Uh, so depending on how dark that image is, uh, you may want to run more iterations to get it more cleaned up and defined and lighter. Uh, as I mentioned, Siren wasn't trained on images and so doesn't favor any particular type. Uh, and it has a tendency to add text in there. Uh, it's not as random as Big Sleep, so if you do imagine all the people twice, it will pretty much produce exactly the same output. So there you go. Lots and lots of different ways. Uh, website, Big Sleep and Deep, deep Days even uh, to create images purely from the text that you type. Excellent stuff. Do have a lot of fun with that. I know I have. Rodent out for now.